Hey guys, it's Soup49, and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on Walker Assault to be a dominant Imperial. Now the first tip I want to give you is always look for these battle pickups on the ground. You definitely need these. They will help you a lot and progress a lot in the game and help your team push up. Anything that can give you an advantage on your opponent is definitely something you want to use. And one of those things is this turret and it's perfect for taking out those rebels. This turret is perfect for range so be careful when the enemy gets close to you. They might throw grenades on you and that could really damage your turret. So I got lucky here and managed to take him out and defuse the objective. I get right back in it and there are some tips I do want to give you about this. You'll notice that under my crosshair there's a small circle that turns red and gets bigger as I continue firing. That's obviously the heat on the gun. So you do want to take your time and be as accurate as possible with these shots but it does have nice splash damage. Now the other thing is it might seem like an amazing turret all around even against enemy vehicles but that's the other thing I do want to mention. This is really meant for getting those rebels or troops on the ground. It does a lot of damage to infantry on the ground but it does very little to vehicles so don't use this on vehicles unless you absolutely have to. Things start to get a little bit hot here as the rebels really start pushing for this objective and this is where I start to essentially panic and really use my shots but it causes my gun to overheat and like I mentioned they're gonna be throwing a grenade at you so be careful and get out as quick as you can. Like I mentioned before, battle pickups are absolutely crucial, and one of those is an ATST. This thing is like a moving tank. It does so much damage because of its three fire modes. It's amazing for taking out the rebels. One of the first fire modes is the simple just left click. That does so much splash damage and it's absolutely amazing at range. So that's a tip for you. Use this at range. It does take a lot of damage when everybody's focusing their shots on you, especially when they use an ion shot to shoot at you. So keep that range and also try not to expose the back of the ATST. That's a weak point. It takes a lot of damage when shots come in from the back. You also notice there's a rocket that I use on the rebels as they're moving around. Rockets are really great for taking out turrets or enemy vehicles and you're going to see as time progresses rebels are going to keep using those turrets so use those rockets even if there's no rebel inside a turret use the rocket to take out the turret just to remove that threat of the rebel having a chance to do some damage to you or your team. There's also a barrage of grenades that you can shoot at the enemy to do a maximum amount of splash damage and they work amazing when the enemy's all together. I use it against that guy behind the rock because my shots couldn't get around to him so it works for that purpose too and as soon as the rebels get close to me I decide to get in their face and try to walk over them because you could even kill them walking on them. You notice that sparks on the left there that was some ion shots being taken off on me and you can see it does a lot of damage so you got to be careful with that but I really got in there and wanted to push the rebels back. Things do begin to become really fun when you're able to run alongside Darth Vader and an ATST taking out the opponents, but there are some tips to give you about this and how you could be really useful to your leader. Darth Vader. Now of course you yourself could play as Darth Vader and it's really simply a battle pickup. Just find it, pick it up, use it. And they're really random, spawned all over the map in random locations and they do different spawns. So you won't find the same battle pickup in the same location. But let's get on to the tips and the tip is really based on your shooting style. Notice my crosshair. It's got three lines, a vertical line and two angular lines. I use the angular lines to aim that at the neck because headshots do the most damage. So maintaining shots towards that is the best way to kill the opponent as quick as possible and be super effective to your team. Keep in mind, guns do overheat just like turrets. So try to maintain proper shooting style, aiming at the neck, like I mentioned with the two angular lines and bursting or tap firing is the best way to take out the enemy and have your gun not overheat as quick as possible. Things can get a little bit tricky when you need to check around corners, so why not use the three view modes that you have? There's a first person and two third person view modes, and I'm going to be showing you how you can use them to your advantage to clear corners. Notice I stay in the third person to the right as I check corners on the left. That way I don't have to peek it, and when I switch corners, I need to switch my camera to the left. That way I get the wider field of view before I actually expose my body and I can see what kind of threats I have on the other side, so use those to your advantage when you need to clear corners. There are satellite turrets in the game and these are really meant for taking out vehicles or doing a lot of damage to them. 
They can also be used against infantry on the ground, but they do have a long cooldown, and it's really like taking a sniping shot at them. You're also exposed, so you're not actually covered like the other turret. So I do recommend using this against vehicles and other turrets, and it does help your team, but you do get taken out. And lastly, the all and wonderful AT-AT. When you get in one of these, it is just absolutely amazing. But there are tips to give you for these. You have three types of fire modes. The first one is a regular shot that does a lot of splash damage. These are wonderful shots to take out infantry. Continue using them. But you also have an orbital strike for when the enemies group up together. And you also have a massive laser round, which is number three. And they're perfect for taking out turrets or vehicles. But I recommend focusing on number one because that that does the fastest fire rate and the highest damage or splash damage to the infantry and it also does damage to the turrets so keep using it and you're gonna see how much fun playing with the ATAT -AT is especially using number one And that sums it up guys. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on it and let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you want to see more tips and tricks, or if you want to just see more gameplay, let me know and I'll see you guys later.